Hello everyone, Dr. Emmeline here. Today I'm going to do something super special for my friends because they're about to graduate. Yay! So I can call you my colleagues now and I thought I would do a really quick and easy tips for how to pass boards too. I understand how scary it is because I'm already getting a little nervous just talking about this. But I figured this is the most asked question for when you're about to graduate. So here we go. I'm going to preface that I'm a visual learner. I am also an audio learner. That means I do a lot better with pictures and sound and people telling me what I need to remember. A lot of other people do really well with reading out of a book straight with no sound. But for me, that just made me fall asleep the resources that I'm using really helped me uh, remember what, try to remember what I'm supposed to remember for the boards. If you know you have different learning styles, I hope you can take something out of this video. Um, if not, well, I tried. <laughs> so let's get started. First and foremost, what did I do? I started studying maybe eight weeks before. Most people start saying at five, but at eight weeks, I was already casually listening to different resources. So just segue myself into what I knew I was going to have to get really serious about. <laughs> uh, so first thing I did was create a schedule. I started, I guess this schedule is for July and August, but I also had a June schedule too. And I highly, highly recommend making a schedule for yourself because it just helps you break down the subjects that you need to be looking at and ease your, your mind and your whole entire body to prepare yourself for this big three days. So definitely first you want to get a calendar. And then I'll link below um, different resources that will help with organizing and I can also link like a quick pamphlet like this or something. All right, so what was I doing at eight weeks? I was already listening to Pass Mplex Boards 2 for clinical sciences. I really, really loved this resource for me because I just needed someone to talk to me and to break everything down. And I will tell you that this was a really, really thorough resource um, as for how the breakdown of the exam is going to be, what is going to be on the exam. Like I found this one so helpful. Maybe it really wasn't as helpful for boards one, but definitely for boards two, I highly recommend getting your hands on the past Amplex videos. So I started out with that. And what I did was I printed it all out in probably six or, yeah, six slides per page. And then I bound it in Office Max for five dollars so cheap and then by week three I decided to take out all of the modalities and farm sections so materia medica so the homeopathy and botanical medicine along with pharmacology I ripped those out and I cut it out to make them flashcards and I think that was so helpful for me because it just allowed me to test myself quickly and have flashcards already made for me without needing to make my own. Now, you really want to know that less resources are more. Even though I'm saying quite a few, uh, I felt like I really just stuck to these resources and called it a day. Path Mplex was awesome. Then I used the Anderson videos. So I also found different times in my schedule to you to listen to all the Anderson videos. In each of these videos, I'm probably listening to them three times through. Paul Anderson is amazing. He has given these resources for free. So I will link below how to find them. And he also has documents attached. So I did the same thing I did with Pass Mplex, where I printed them all out, put them in a binder, or I have them bound because it's so much more organized that way. And I use those as my core books to look and study from. So I'm listening to Anderson's and I'm writing notes. I'm listening to past Mplex and I'm writing notes on there. So when I'm going back, it's just easy for me to remember and 
also hear their voices in my head while I'm looking going through questions. So I found that super useful. I thought the Anderson videos were awesome. I really thought that his emergency medicine videos were so, so helpful for the exam. So definitely take a look at that. Um, thank you so much, Dr. Anderson. Then I found the Botanical Mountains flashcards for, um, Botanical Healing Mountains flashcards were really helpful too. Again, I'm a visual learner, so seeing the plants and herbs really made it a lot easier for me to visualize the plan and then know contraindications for certain conditions, adverse effects, because at the end of the day, Amplex is really testing you on seeing that you're not going to harm a patient, so always be very, very mindful of the contraindications, allergies, adverse effects, all of that. So. Those are big things to remember. And I remember NPLEX, the videos really did give great tips on just exam taking skills along with Anderson's. So see, I still remember them. If I were reading, I don't know if I would remember. I will tell you this. I also used Ichu and Greg's study guides. Thank you so much to my colleagues now who were so, so, so generous with their resources. They both made, uh, I believe Ichu made the study guide and Greg kind of made it his own and then just shared it with all of us. So that was so, so helpful for me. Again, I printed it out, bound it, and then just read through it. I also got this reader's app on my computer so that it would read to me. I don't know if that helped me so much. I don't think it did, but uh, maybe. I mean, I passed. So then the, in my subconscious, I was really hoping that this computerized voice would just seep into my subconscious. So when I took the exam, I'd be like, yes. <laughs> so thank you, Ichu and Greg. If you can get your hands on that resource, that's awesome. But it was very, very similar to the core knowledge book, which we call the purple book, I think was extremely helpful for people who needed a resource that just encompassed everything. I mean, if I were to go back, would I use that resource? Yes, if I had more time. I mean, I know it's a good resource if you really want to have something all in one place. So far, I've talked about Anderson's, which is a great video and document resource that's free. Then I talked about past MPLEX, which I found was so helpful with just breakdown of exam and all encompassing for someone like me, a visual learner who needs someone, an audio learner to read to them and just have everything laid out. And so I can listen to multiple times too. I talked about the botanical Healing Mountain flashcards, really great for botanical medicine, materia medica portion, which is grouped with homeopathy, Greg and Ichu study guide, and also the core knowledge book. That's four things. Not too bad. Those are the four things that I really, really used. And then, of course, the questions bank. Our SCNM resource, we were given really awesome questions banks. And so when I would get just tired of just reading through everything, then I would do a couple of questions. And by the second week, I was doing a lot more questions because I felt like I had already gone through everything multiple times. Ah, yes, board vitals. So the board vitals questions were awesome for clinical and for boards one, two. So for clinical and basic sciences. So definitely check that out and see if your school gives you that resource. I sure hope so. Yeah, so those are my resources that I use and it, I really try to keep it concise as possible because I will tell you that there are a lot of resources going around and it was pretty overwhelming for me. So I just stuck to these and just prayed, you know, and it ended up working out. So it will all work out. <laughs> okay, so why don't we talk about the elective portions resources. I used for minor surgery, past Amplex, and previous notes that I already had from school. So that ended up being completely fine. Like minor surgery wasn't too bad to me, but then a lot of people, it, it's just per year, you just don't know. It's like, 
luck of the draw for you. Um, and also, you know way more than you think you know because all of the exams, you come out and you're like, I don't know. But in the end, it normally all works out. So have some faith in yourself. <laughs> so um, I will tell you an amazing resource for acupuncture. This is the resource that you want. It is called the Acupuncture Clinical Board Study Manual, and it's by Melissa M. Dar Darwaha. Sorry if I did not totally did not say that right. That was an amazing resource for acupuncture, and I felt like it was super comprehensive for the exam and really, really, really great. I highly recommend that resource for acupuncture. For farm, I used memorizing pharmacology and then added on the uh, other drugs that were not on the farm list for both the core MPLEX, but for the elective MPLEX. So definitely use that resource, or if you have other resource for yourself, that's awesome too. Other than that, I think we're good, right? What to expect on the day of the exam? Three days. Three days that you're just gonna have to be super resilient for, you know, take care of yourself, make sure you're sleeping well, eating well, moving, exercising, find a great supplement that will help with your memory and or just overall eat well, you know, basics. We all know we're naturopathic doctors, so let's do it. Let's, let's live it. Okay, so try your best to relax and know and have faith within yourself that you know enough to pass the exam. In the mornings, the first day of your exam is when you're gonna take your core clinical sciences. So that is the basic core portion, not the elective, and this is in the morning. And you have three and, ex three and a half hours to complete that section with 135 questions. You can do it. And then you will have your elective exam afterwards. So it says on the website, August 5th, Wednesday, that you will have your clinical minor surgery exam. Cool. Then you have two more days. So let's go. Core clinical science again in the morning for three and a half hours, 135 questions, and then you have your next elective. And for this, this time it says it's farm. Okay, and then your last day, you have your core exam, and lucky you, you only have 130 questions with three and a half hours. <laughs> I mean, five less is a big deal, right? And then you have your last elective exam, and that's acupuncture if you choose to take it. Now, do not quote me on any of this. All of this may change, so definitely always check the N a b n e dot org website for your latest and greatest information about boards. So I guess that's really it. I don't know what else to tell you. I hope that was thorough enough. I'll also write this all up for you so it's not all over the place and more organized for you. I hope this was helpful. I wish you only the best. You are going to do great. I know that you know way more than you think you know, so have confidence in yourself. I will tell you, after the exams, I felt pretty terrible. I would say the first day, and everyone felt differently, you know, but know that it is okay if you do not feel good and if you feel exhausted and like you're just going to break down, but you can push through it and there is a light under after the there is a light at the end of the tunnel so feel free at any time to DM me on my Instagram at Dr. Emmeline or you can Facebook me you can email me and I will do my best I can to help you with resources if you need more help finding the, those resources I am happy to help so good luck you can do it peace and love I will see you guys next time Oh, woo, whoa, jeez Louise, I feel like my chair's gonna break. <laughs> jeez, I almost fell. All 
right.